So 2022 was a year for a lot of great movies. There were obviously some disappointments along the way, but overall I thought 2022 delivered on some really awesome movies that I was just really happy to see. Some of them multiple times, and some of them I wanted to add to my top five best movies of 2022, but it was just so hard to decide on some of them, so I ended up adding them to my honorable mention list. So before I get into what my top five best movies of 2022 were, I'm going to start off with my honorable mentions. First one on the list is Bullet Train. I found this movie to be super super fun. It was a lot more violent and a lot more funny than I thought it was going to be. Brad Pitt did a great job. Bullet Train was a really great example of a hyperlink cinema movie. And I just really loved all the actors and actresses in the movie. Great casting, great storyline, and like I said, lots of action, lots of violence, and, and lots of comedy, and just made for a really good action flick. The Batman was maybe my most anticipated superhero movie this year. When I saw the trailers, I just knew this would be a totally different Batman just how they were going to portray him. It was going to be very dark, a little more crazy, a little more violent. And I have to say, I really like Robert Pattinson's version of the Batman. Bruce Wayne, not so much, but I loved his version of the Batman. And all the other characters, there was just so many great characters and how it all weaved together. And Matt Reeves just did a phenomenal job. The music was amazing. The cinematography, the chase scenes, the action, the storyline, the villain, the Riddler, Paul Dano did a phenomenal job. I was just super, super pleased with it and I saw it a couple times and it just blew my mind in, in terms of what I was expecting. <music> Where the Crawdads Sing, I do remember the trailer for it and it was kind of a misleading trailer. So when I did see the movie, which was very recently, it completely caught me off guard with how emotionally heavy the movie is. And in my opinion, it's an Oscar-worthy movie. Director Olivia Newman knocked it out of the park. This was a movie that really went under the radar. And uh, if you haven't seen it, I am highly recommending that you see this movie because it is just so well made. Just the storyline, the characters, the message of the whole movie. It's just a beautifully powerful movie. I always find like the best movies out there are the ones that fly under the radar and Where the Crowd Dads Sing was definitely one of those movies. <music> Black Panther 2 Wakanda Forever was just full of nostalgia. I was really looking forward to this movie for a few reasons and I knew it was going to be emotionally heavy because of Chadwick Boseman's death and they had to carry on the legend and the mantle of Black Panther without him and they did a phenomenal job. Ryan Cooler came back to direct this movie and he knocked it out of the park. I actually think Black Panther 2 was better than the first one. Namor, one of the best anti-heroes I've seen so far come out of Marvel. The beautiful underwater scenes, the action sequences. Both Angela Bassett and Letitia Wright brought their A-game. They just went all out so we could feel their emotions, their pain. Just the struggle of carrying on Chadwick Boseman's legacy. Everything about this movie just was a really, really great Marvel movie. I felt like Phase 4 was lacking in certain areas and I'm glad that we ended Phase 4 with such an awesome Marvel movie like Black Panther Wakanda Forever. The Northman was a cinematic masterpiece in my opinion. Robert Eggers took this movie and it follows the legend of Amleth, which is that classic story of revenge that Hamlet is actually based off of. And we have Alexander Skarsgård and Anya Taylor-Joy. Both amazing actors. Most of it just spoke epic cinematic moments. Very violent, but a very powerful tale. Alexander Skarsgård just went, in, went all out. He had to get in incredible shape to play in this movie. It was just a, one of those movies that I really like Viking movies, so I was pretty partial to it. I just love seeing the Viking culture, what it was like, and they hit on a lot of aspects of the Viking culture, and they did it in such a beautiful way. Glass Onion, A Knives Out Mystery, so I loved the first Knives Out. Ryan Johnson did a great job. This sequel was better than the first Knives Out movie, in my opinion. It was great seeing Daniel Craig back as Benoit Blanc, 
And of course, the cast list alone was enough to get me to go see it. Just had some really heavy hitters. A couple of actors that we haven't seen in a while. Edward Norton was one of them. It was just an amazing whodunit. I love whodunit movies, especially when they're done really well. And Knives Out was one of the best whodunits I've seen in years. Glass Onion just took it to a whole new level. There are great plot twists and turns and just the storytelling. Daniel Craig did a great job. All the actors and actresses just embody their character and the mystery. And what I absolutely love about these movies is you always want to play the game. You always want to get in their headspace and figure out who is the culprit and why they did it. And it's just, it's one of those, it's just a, such a fun, fun movie. Really love this movie a ton and I just loved all the shocking discoveries and plot twists that happened. And I'm excited to see this movie again very soon. Elvis was a really, really well done biopic of Elvis Presley. Austin Butler just embodied Elvis all the way. I just love seeing an actor just dedicate so much time and effort towards someone as iconic as Elvis Presley was. I just love reading stuff about it too. Austin was talking about how he, for like two years straight, that's all he obsessed about was Elvis. Every detail of Elvis's life, his love life, his songs. And he also got permission from Priscilla Presley before he went ahead and did this because he didn't want to be disrespectful. He wanted to do this right and he nailed it. It was just such an amazing movie in honor of the king of rock and roll. Tom Hanks does an amazing job as always in the movie. And another reason I went to see Elvis was it looked super interesting. I love Baz Luhrmann's directing style. He's done some amazing work. But another reason for me going to see Elvis was in honor of my cousin Dawn who passed away in early April. She was the biggest Elvis fan I have ever met. And it was just a way of me to honor her and kind of remember her and enjoy hearing all the classic songs from Elvis that she loved so much. This movie is definitely Oscar worthy and I hope it does win a few Oscar nominations and awards because it is well deserved. <music> Top Gun Maverick. For most people, they would say this movie was one of the best movies coming out of 2022 because it was just full of nostalgia and it brought so many people out to the theaters, mainly the older generations because they Remember when the first Top Gun came out in the 80s and you know the Tom Cruise is still going strong, still going hard even when he's 60 years old. And that brought them out to the theaters to see it as well and it just blew up the box office. It set a couple records. It was just a beautifully crafted movie that hit on all the aspects of Top Gun that we love so much. Tom Cruise, like every role he takes on, he puts so much heart into it and so much work into it. He does all of his own stunts. He's flying his own plane and a motorcycle in this movie. He is just a man of many talents. It was super emotional, high adrenaline. That's what we want to see. It's been close to 40 years since the last one came out. And to get a sequel like this and have it do this well is pretty rare for a movie. Most sequels do pretty well, but this is definitely the most successful sequel I have ever seen come out of Hollywood. And I think this movie definitely deserves to be nominated for a few Oscar awards because it just blew my mind. I've seen it a couple of times, I'm gonna see it again. They brought back a couple of classic characters that just tied so much into the movie. It was just really a heartfelt movie that so many people enjoyed this year. If you'd like to watch any of my reviews that I mentioned, all the links will be in the description below. Please check those out. And as always, remember to like and subscribe because going into 2023, I'm hoping to keep cranking out some amazing content for everybody to watch. And I want you to be part of that journey with me.